Hi, I'm Hugo. In previous video, I present to you the Polka battery system. And one of the strong function of the Polka battery system is that you can parallel the Polka battery system with any Li acid battery. So households can safely recycle their old Li acid batteries in this case. In this video, I'm going to reproduce the Polka battery and the Li acid battery connection function. You can do your own test on your own device and have your own result. I will put my test result later in this video and you can compare yours with mine. So now I have some Polka batteries. Here I got three. And then I have some DAC batteries. I got four. And I have my inverter. I hang on the wall and then I have a, a computer so I can monitor the whole testing process. So now I got three Polka batteries. They have been already attached to the bracket and some cables are connected to the battery already. Let's turn to this way. So I parallel the three Polka batteries um, with bus bar, as you can see here. Um, this is a, a, a bus bar for the positive electrode and this is the bus bar for the negative electrodes. So basically they're just parallel together. And I'll turn to the Li-S batteries. I got four of them. They are, they are also parallel together. And then on the wall, I got uh, an inverter. So I'm going to connect them all together and then I use my computer to monitor the whole process and get some test results. So now I'm going to connect the uh, Polka batteries with the Li acid batteries. Uh, as you can see, I got many cables and connectors to get, uh, they have already been connected to the plugs. Now I'm going to parallel the, these two kinds of batteries. Um, the last part, the last step is to pull up the, the switch. As you can see, now it's off. I need to pull it up. Nice one. So they are now the Polka batteries and the Li acid battery, they are parallel together. Okay, now I need to switch on the air switch. So I can pull it up and then I turn on the inverter. Just press the button here. And then just wait for it. Now it's off. Uh, Okay, now it's finally on. Um, as you can see, all the connect, all the lines here, they are connected. There is current flowing, and there is on. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so now uh, this is a battery management system uh, monitoring platform. Um, you can use this software to monitor the testing result, the whole process. As you can find out, this is uh, the batteries here is charging as like almost 90%, and the current is like 29.665. But um, you, when you're doing the testing, you do not start from zero SOC. Uh, you don't, do not start from like 90% uh, SOC, you start from 0%. I'm showing this to you to tell you that you can monitor the whole process with this, this software. Um, but we got our testing result, and I will put it later in this video so you can, when you do your own testing, you can compare your result with ours. Okay.
So finally, after five days of testing, I have gathered some data sheets recording charging and its charging test on the Polka battery. This is the charging data starting from August the 6th to August the 8th and the discharging data starting from August the 9th to August the 11th so totally five days of work we got two data sheets here um, I guess I will start from the charging data starting from the low current the first column so throughout the whole process the low current is like not more than 90 ampere time the polka is being charged the main circle voltage is like 54 volts starting from row 1 to row 10 as you can see it's like 54 volts approximately so this number is also the vivid indicator that the polka battery is being charged and now let's check what happens when the polka battery is being charged for the first four rows of charging currents for polka and light acid batteries and there are some numbers for the light acid battery charging current is like greater than the polka charging current polka batteries is under voltage at first and after it climbs to its normal voltage level starting from row 5 to row 10 polka battery becomes the main charging part of the whole paralleling connection devices also starting from row 5, the charging current for LED acid batteries like below 10, the polka battery is being charged to 100% SOC. Now it's turned to the LED acid batteries to being charged. So starting from here, as you can see the charging current for, for polka batteries drops down to nearly zero and the LED acid batteries has a current much higher than before this is a vivid evidence that when polka and lead acid batteries are parallel and being charged polka batteries will be fully charged firstly after that the lead acid batteries will be fully charged and on august the 8th finally the polka and the lead acid battery is charged to 100 percent soc as you can see the voltage for the polka batteries being charged is like 54 but as soon as the polka battery is fully charged the voltage becomes fluctuating like from 52 to 57 is quite volatile so this is also something that the acid battery doesn't have like constant voltage level when being charged okay now then turn now turn to the discharging data we got all these data starting from august the 9th to august the 11th that's like two days and during these two days i do two discharging tests on the parallel link system and when the polka battery is, is discharging the circle voltage is like constant at 54 volts while the lead acid battery discharging current is like nearly zero there is no current through lead acid batteries when the polka battery is discharging there is a priority during the discharging process and after that when the polka finally like discharge fully then it's turned to the lead acid batteries to discharge levels still it happens when the polka battery is discharging the circle voltage is remained at 54 when the polka battery is finally fully discharged it's the turn to the lead acid batteries to discharge and at this point of time the polka battery has no current through it and the whole discharging process didn't finish until the lead acid battery also finished discharging it's quite easy to see that when polka and lead acid batteries are parallel and discharging polka batteries will discharge firstly we do this test twice and we have the same result and have the same conclusion 
and then the last battery will fully charge after that.